What if we could terraform other planets? The concept of transforming barren, inhospitable planets into habitable worlds for human colonization has long been a staple of science fiction. It captures our collective imagination, representing humanity's innate desire to explore, conquer, and expand our presence beyond the confines of Earth. While this vision of terraforming is not yet a reality, it's a tantalizing subject that prompts numerous questions and sparks debate within the scientific community. At its core, terraforming refers to the deliberate modification of a celestial body's environment to make it suitable for human habitation. When we speak of celestial bodies, we're primarily discussing planets and moons in our solar system. The term conjures images of lush forests, vast oceans, and breathable atmospheres on formerly barren and lifeless worlds. But how feasible is this concept, and what are the challenges involved in turning these distant and inhospitable places into potential new homes for humanity? The idea of terraforming other planets has gained considerable attention and has been a recurring theme in popular culture, from books and movies to video games. Authors like Kim Stanley Robinson in his Mars trilogy have explored the intricacies of transforming the red planet into an Earth-like paradise. However, when we step out of the realm of fiction and into the domain of scientific reality, the picture becomes more complex. One of the primary targets for terraforming discussions is Mars. It's the most Earth-like planet in our solar system, and its proximity has made it a subject of numerous missions, including NASA's ongoing efforts. But despite its relative familiarity, the challenges of terraforming Mars are staggering. First and foremost, Mars' thin atmosphere, composed mainly of carbon dioxide, is not conducive to human survival. For terraforming to work, this atmosphere would need to be transformed into one that contains sufficient oxygen to breathe. Additionally, the temperature on Mars is frigid, and the planet is exposed to lethal doses of cosmic radiation due to its lack of a protective magnetic field. Solving these issues alone would be monumental tasks. A potential method for creating a more habitable atmosphere on Mars is known as terraforming by greenhouse effect. This process would involve releasing large quantities of greenhouse gases, such as perfluorocarbons, into the Martian atmosphere. These gases would trap heat and raise the planet's temperature over time. However, this approach would take centuries or even millennia to achieve the desired effects. It also raises ethical questions about introducing artificial substances into an environment and potentially altering it in unpredictable ways. But even if we could create a thicker atmosphere on Mars, the challenge doesn't end there. We'd need to introduce life to the planet. Plants, for instance, would be essential for generating oxygen and maintaining the balance of gases. The introduction of a self-sustaining ecosystem is a vast undertaking in itself. The ecological consequences of such an endeavor are difficult to predict accurately. Another significant hurdle is the availability of liquid water on Mars. Water is essential for life, and while there's evidence of water ice on the planet, making it accessible and distributing it across a terraformed Mars is a daunting logistical challenge. Furthermore, Mars's low gravity, which is only about 38% of Earth's, has implications for human health. Prolonged exposure to low gravity can lead to a range of physiological problems, such as muscle and bone loss, cardiovascular issues, and impaired immune function. Addressing these health concerns is crucial for any long-term human presence on Mars. The timescale is another vital consideration. Even if we were to overcome the aforementioned challenges, the terraforming process for Mars would likely take centuries or more. This extended timeline raises practical questions about the sustainability of such an undertaking, the ability of future generations to maintain the effort, and the evolving goals and priorities of human society over time. Furthermore, while Mars is often the focus of terraforming discussions, it's not the only celestial body in our solar system with potential. Moons like Europa, one of Jupiter's satellites, have subsurface oceans that might support life. Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, spews water vapor into space, hinting at the possibility of liquid water beneath its icy surface. These moons raise the prospect of exploring and in some way potentially altering these environments to make them habitable, but the challenges involved are unique to each. Beyond our solar system, the concept of terraforming becomes even more speculative. The distances between stars and the vastness of space make interstellar travel and colonization immensely challenging. Yet, when we consider the possibilities of advanced technology and the boundless curiosity of humanity, it's not inconceivable that we might one day explore planets orbiting other stars. In these cases, the notion of terraforming planets becomes a topic for grand conjecture. 
In conclusion, the concept of terraforming other planets is undeniably captivating and appeals to our desire for exploration and expansion. However, the challenges involved are immense, encompassing environmental, technological, ethical, and logistical considerations. As we continue to advance in our understanding of science and technology, we should carefully weigh the potential benefits and consequences of such endeavors. Terraforming, whether it remains a dream or ultimately becomes a reality, represents a profound exploration of our place in the cosmos and the possibilities that lie beyond our home planet. Don't forget to share and subscribe.